Hello everyone, Ace here, and today let's talk a little bit about Star Wars The Acolyte, a show so terrible that Star Wars fans actively view it as worse than the holiday special, the holiday special that George Lucas was personally ashamed of, and actively tried to wipe from existence entirely, though unsuccessfully I might add. It's also a show that I've talked very little about, partially because I don't want to give Disney my hard-earned money just to stream this, and also partially because talking about the Acolyte itself would mostly end up in territory of stuff that everyone else is talking about. So rather than being boring and doing the exact same thing that everyone else is doing, let's instead go over something in relation to the Acolyte that no one else has really been diving into. The High Republic, and more specifically, why as bad as the Acolyte is, it still ends up being better than most of the High Republic. In fact, if anything, I've been rather disappointed in the Acolyte just not being shitty enough to what I've been used to when dealing with the High Republic. Don't get me wrong, Acolyte is still absolutely atrocious, and deserves the reputation of being worse than the Holiday Special. At least the Holiday Special, terrible on the whole though it may be, did have the occasional good moment within it, such as giving us Boba Fett, as well as B. Arthur's Cantina. The Holiday Special is, like I said, still terrible and overall not worth watching, but looking at just the those two bits of the holiday special, those are actually worth watching. By contrast, I have not seen a single scene within the entirety of the Acolyte that is anywhere approaching watchable. The absolute nicest thing I can say about the Acolyte is that the pain of this show is simply non-existent in comparison to the absolute atrocity that is, like I said, the High Republic. So you may now be wondering what exactly the High Republic is and why it is so much worse than the Acolyte as well as perhaps if it's so bad and such a travesty to Star Wars, why it isn't being more talked about. To start off, the High Republic is the new era that Disney has been trying to push of Star Wars that, for all intents and purposes, replaces the Old Republic era of the original Star Wars canon. Though, to be technical, it is worth noting that the High Republic takes place only a few hundred years before the events of the Battle of Yavin, while as the Old Republic era tends to be thousands of years before the Battle of Yavin. Even still, the High Republic is ultimately Disney's answer to George Lucas's Old Republic. Disney has been quite keen on marketing the fact that the High Republic era was supposed to be the biggest thing in Star Wars since the sequel trilogy. And of course, Disney has taken efforts to try to link the High Republic era to various other projects revolving around Star Wars. Remember, for example, that god-awful Galactic Star Cruiser Hotel? Well, that that was linked to the High Republic. With the Galactic Star Cruiser being canonically launched during the High Republic era, and some of the notable events happening in the ship's history occurring also within the High Republic era as well, another link would of course be the Acolyte itself, which takes place a hundred years before the events of the Battle of Yavin, which for those who don't know is technically within the confines of the High Republic era, though still far more recent than the events in most media concerning the High Republic. Now that we know what the High Republic is, let's move on to the big reason why most people haven't been focusing on it too much. That being that most of the media concerning High Republic happens to come in the form of comic books with the occasional novel and manga as well. And yes, you heard that right, Disney is trying to subvert the manga community now. Though how successful that will be is very much open for debate. It is worth noting that there are some additional projects High Republic related, including games such as Star Wars Eclipse. But getting back to the topic at hand, the general reason why most people haven't really been paying attention to High Republic is because most people just don't really care about comic books anymore. Comic books have, after all, been on the decline for decades at this point, and even then have been a niche market for decades more. Still, back when George Lucas was at the helm and Star Wars was actually good, comic books did play a significant role in making Star Wars what it was in terms of the EU lore. And, of course, let's not also forget that Disney literally owns one of the largest publishers of comic books in the entire world. So it is natural that they would try to push one of their new eras through comic books as well as other media. But now that we've looked at what exactly the High Republic is and 
why people haven't been paying too much attention to it, let's now move on to why it is so very, very much worse than the Acolyte itself. And yes, I did mention that the Acolyte is technically part of the High Republic at this point, to the tune that Disney is actively marketing the link between the Acolyte and the High Republic. But the fact that the Acolyte is part of the High Republic does not diminish the fact that the Acolyte itself is still significantly better than the High Republic as a whole, as tragically sad a fact though that may be. But if there is any single reason I can bring up to explain why the High Republic is worse than the Acolyte, if I had to sum up why the High Republic is worse with a single word, that word would be lore. In short, the depiction of the Jedi Order in the High Republic is a depiction that makes them ultimately more evil than the Sith. The High Republic completely ignores absolutely everything about the Jedi Order in order to push this very notion. The very first thing we know about the Jedi Order in the High Republic comics is that they are absolutely willing to sacrifice entire planets, planets with cities on them for the record, just to see if their Padawan can save said planet. And yes, this was established from issue one. We've also seen Jedi interacting with other force-based religions by saying things such as, quote, we're all allowed a bad day to a member of another force-based religion actively burning the face off of a civilian with the force. We have seen Jedi Knights actively say to hell with the force while putting on a Sith artifact, something that for the record even a Sith wouldn't say. We have seen Grandmaster Yoda openly choose to abandon his fellow Jedi behind enemy lines exclusively because the force wills it. We have also seen the Jedi and some of their allies openly lead a bunch of civilians into what was essentially a massive bayonet charge in order to fight a bunch of pacifists, getting members of both groups of innocents killed needlessly for their own personal gain. This, dear viewer, is the Jedi Order as depicted by the High Republic. So when I see by comparison the Acolyte attempt to depict the Jedi as villains, but amusingly does so in a way so contrived and so poorly thought out that most members of the audience ultimately end up agreeing with the actions of the Jedi in this specific instance, well, it becomes very obvious which depiction of the Jedi is ultimately worse. Yes, the Acolyte absolutely tried to depict the Jedi Order as the villains in this story, and fumbled so hard with the writing that it failed to depict the Jedi as the villains in the story. However, by contrast, the High Republic has been absolutely successful in depicting the Jedi as the greatest evil within the Star Wars galaxy. And when it comes to the rest of the lore breaks with regards to Star Wars, with the sole exception of the Acolyte completely shitting up the Chosen One prophecy, the rest of the lore breaks have been done in a far more significantly worse degree in the High Republic than they have in the Acolyte. Ultimately, my reaction towards the Acolyte and towards people's hatred of it is that yes, their anger is 100% justified. At the same time, however, I feel consistently like the first time guy meme. Because for the most part, the problems that are in the Acolyte have been present and in a far greater degree in the High Republic, and I've consistently been critical of these issues since 2021. The good news is that while the High Republic is still ongoing, we are starting to see the light of the tunnel with regards to it. As the High Republic comics are in their third and, as far as we know, final phase. Some of my critics may decide to accuse me at this point of using the controversy surrounding the Acolyte to complain a little bit more about the High Republic, and they would be 100% correct. The High Republic is just so atrocious that I do believe it is well worth the criticism that I am providing towards it, even if I have to state that the Acolyte itself, the show worse than the Holiday Special, is by comparison not as bad as the High Republic. And in fact, as sad as it is to say, the Acolyte is ultimately technically an improvement upon the quality of writing typically found within the High Republic. And yes, I again believe the audience is absolutely right in their opinion that the Acolyte is worse than the Holiday Special. I just also believe that the Acolyte is better than the High Republic. And ultimately, I look forward to the day that I no longer have to talk about either the Acolyte or especially the High Republic. But in any case, this has been Ace. Hope to see you guys again soon. Take care. Ace out.